Hey guys, it's Andrea. Welcome to the last of the Sew With Me series for these mercantile quilt seats. Of course, this will probably be about three videos long, but still, this is the first of the last three. This is um, Needle and Thread. This is by Lori Holt. I was gifted this by Missouri Star Quilt Co., who I'm an affiliate for. I'm going to put my link down below, my affiliate link. If you use that, it greatly helps me out. It helps you out as well because you're going to get 20% off your cart total of $50 or more. Some restrictions apply, but most of the time it'll even work on top of sales, y'all. It's fantastic. Okay, I can't show you the cutting. I've already done all my cutting, so it's here. <laughs> it's actually less cutting than the rest of them because I didn't use all of my double alphabeties. I only used a few of them, actually. So, it might not take us three videos. We'll see. Two or three. First up, we're going to make um, one of these spool centers, the stripy one. So, we're going to take A, B, C, D, B, C, D, E, F, and G. C, D, E. Where's E? There you are. Putting all those together. I am using a mercantile layer cake doing this, but I'm also using my Lori Holt stash, so it's a mixture. It is Saturday night, all right, folks. Saturday night's all right. Anyway, it's Saturday night. I'm sewing this for Monday is when you're going to see it. I like to get my weekly videos done at least of the days that I have my regular job because I might not have time. And then I'll be posted up like I did that one night at like 9.30 at 9. I don't like doing that. All right, I'm going to press these. these two together. It doesn't really matter what order they're in. As long as you don't have two colors the same together. I did change up. I pretty much stuck to her suggested colors and fabrics if I had them. If I didn't, I just used my own. But there is one that I changed because I just didn't dig the color and that's the quilty block. You'll see. I'll show you when we get to it. Okay, I. Let's get I out. There's two of them. This is going to be one of our spools to this one, I'm sure, and take J, and we're going to snowball them on each end, corner to corner, right down the middle. A T U R D A Y. Nine. 
I'm gonna go ahead and trim so I make sure I'm putting these in the right direction. So the other side, this corner to corner. Speaking of these spools, I think Lori Hope's spool sampler quilt is gonna be one of our next Sew With Me series. I've had it for a while. I need to do it. And this this block reminded me of that. Saturday night's alright for fighting. Saturday night's alright, alright. Right. Hope I. Did this right. So we'll find out soon enough. Margaret peed on me again. Margaret, you're such a turd knocker. The Iron Lady is very fickle and grumpy. All right, we're done with the J's for now, I think. So I'm going to put these back. <clears throat> I'm going to skip to the next because we're waiting on something. Let's get K into the game. Um, and bring Jay back. Psych! We're not done with you, Jay. These are all the rest of the spools. I had to make mine scrappy because I ran out of this. But that's okay. I don't want them to all match anyway. I don't want them to all match any way. So silly on you. I think I'm gonna make the brown and the spool, Lori Holt spool sampler all scrappy as well. Scrappy browns. I hope y'all have that book at the ready. I'm gonna start it like within the next week or two. Also ran out of this background fabric but I had this and I think it goes very well with this I don't think anyone will really notice the difference if they do I'll say well aren't you the quilty police and that'll get them good, right? <laughs> I'm 
took me forever to cut this. <laughs> these are so, these blocks, so much cutting. Okay, when you get your thing here back, we're gonna put H on each side. Speaking of which, that's one of the ones I think I just showed you. I just need two of these. Put the other two back. Guess we'll see how my seams did when I put this on, how it measures up. <gasps> wow, y'all, that's almost perfect. Got to admit, it's getting better. It's getting better all the time. I know us. It's back here. Oh, another one of my spools. All right, let's trim all these. I hope everybody saw my giveaway video um, that I posted over the weekend. I say that like it's not still the weekend. I posted it today, Saturday. But if you didn't see it, be sure and check it out because there's a giveaway on there from Missouri Star. Okay, now we can put the other sides on. I'm so excited when I fixing to start a new project. Do y'all, I like start, like when I know the end is coming up to something within a couple of three videos, I'll start searching for my next whip. And that makes me so excited. But that spool's gonna be one of them, and I'm gonna be doing that modern log cabin too. It's gonna start soon as well. If you remember that unboxing. Because I just finished up another whip last week, or this, yeah, last week. So I have room on my schedule. the other side. That makes sense. Look how perfectly it's lined up. Leave all of those seams. Chef's kiss.
across all these little mini spools. And I'm going to be using my Lori scrap, my Lori stash for the spools. All right, now I'm going to put G up again. I mean, J. L. L. On each side. L. Here ye are. Here ye are. This is going pretty quick. This might just be two videos long. Okay. Now we'll put the spool top and bottom on. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay. Spools. Freaking adorable. There's the first spool. Pretty as a picture. Okay, we're gonna take O. Y'all wanna see the smallest possible box. I mean, literally, you couldn't make them any smaller than this. <laughs> Three-fourths of an inch. You literally couldn't make it any smaller than that, or you wouldn't have anything left after your fourth of an inch seam. And we are going to snowball these teeny tiny guys on the top two corners of O. Take it slow and easy. It seems aren't as great on this one.
And I'm just going to use my snips to trim this. Press it. And then the other side. Get it right at the corner, but it's good enough. I'm sure. Okay, there's my second spool. All right, yes. This is this is the needle. If you haven't guessed, that we're working on. And that's going to take R, which is also small. Not as small as the others, but pretty dang small. Snowball these on the two corners. too bad off on that just slightly but when the block's so tiny slightly is a lot huh hmm. Hmm. not too shabby <laughs> all right what else P And the skinniest strips that you could ever cut. Literally couldn't be any skinnier than this. It's going to go on each side here. I think we're making the eye of the needle. It's the cream of the fight. It's the cream of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of all rivals. And the Survivors go up something I done. Down, 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 of the needle. Okay, other side. I remember watching Rocky at the theater um, in junior high. I don't know what number Rocky it was. You know, because I made 20,000 of them, but I mean, we're coming out of the theater and everybody was just so popped up. Like the adrenaline from Rocky was just vibrating through us. That's a movie to get you pumped up now. When did the first Rocky come out? I'm thinking the 70s. So maybe I'm wrong. I need to look that up. So I remember I was probably in 7th or 7th, 8th or 9th. Which would be 87, 88, and 89. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, it's hot. Dun 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 dun. This stupid washi tape is driving me crazy. It won't stay down. I'm gonna change it. You're too skinny. I need a thick girl. Thick girls get it done, yo. Puny sister on here. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip forward a little bit. 
um, V. She did it blue. I did it pink. This is one, I, just because I couldn't find that blue fabric that I wanted to use. So I just said, <clears throat> I'll use pink. I actually got this out of my scraps. You. Just two of them. The eye of the tiger. I remember when I worked at the video store. And, um, my manager was in the back and we had like a little intercom, you know, to the front where we was checking people out. And he said over the loudspeaker on the intercom, he, he was said, Yo, Andrea! Like, Yo, Adrian. <laughs> really loud. It was quite funny. Oh, I think this is going to go on top of this. Yeah. such a good time at that video store. Best teenage job ever. Well, into my 20s, actually. Teenaged into my 20s. I worked there for years. All the way through college. And sometimes in graduate school on the weekends when I would come home. God, it was fun. Could watch all the movies I wanted. Take home as many as I wanted. My little sister worked there for a while, too, with me. We had a blast. A blast. Okay, now this. To a pinhead or a needlehead. I should say. Spools on this. We are making really good time, y'all. I don't think I've had to stop my video. I'm trying. To, I was looking at the time on the video. Okay, there's our needle. Monkey as ever. We're gonna put T on each side. Hey, sister, soul, sister, soul, sister. This thing's kind of coming unravelly, isn't it? Hey, sister, soul, sister. Soul.
and yellow. It goes all yellow. This is spool as well, and it's gonna have probably um, uh, okay, I think this is gonna be you again. Yeah. She made me read a little bit, and you know how I feel about that. <laughs> I just wanna look at the picture. <laughs> Another spool down. Another one in my dust. And another one down. And another one down. Another one in my dust. Hey, it's gonna get you too. Put that to the side. Why? Oh, why didn't you have me do this with the rest of them? Come on, Jay. You're up again. Oh, just two of you, though. Oh, never mind. There's two strips here. There's two strips. Goofy. Oh, good. Oh, Y'all, I was sitting here thinking that tomorrow was Monday. The happiness that just spread through me when I realized it wasn't. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, ugh, I have a meeting Monday, ugh. And then I realized it's not Sunday. Yes. Oops. It's like waking up in the middle of the night and looking at the clock thinking, please don't be wake up time. Please don't be wake up time. It's like 3 a.m. You're like, yes. Which I told y'all, I think, earlier in another video, I had to get up at like a little after seven today for Sam to go take his ACT. And that's, I never get up that early anymore since I'm working from home. It's very unusual I have to get up that early. Kids are old enough now to get up and get ready and get on the bus and I get to sleep. <laughs> oh, happy day when Jesus was. Yeah, that was a very happy day when that transition occurred. Oh, gosh. When Jesus was. those done. Alright. What time? Oh wow, man. I cannot believe this good time we're making. We've got Z. It's going to be next to AA. This is where I ch changed up my colors. Okay, see this is hers. 
I really don't like when red and green are together because it's to me way too Christmassy looking. So I mix this up. You'll see. A A A A and B. B, B, B. I think we're going to make multiple of these. Um, let's see. Yes. Yes, we are. So I'm going to do them all at once. We're going to make four of these four patches. Z. A. A. And B. B. So I kept the red inner squares and I kept the red bow, but I changed the green to blue, the background green to this. I think it's gonna be pretty. Press to the blue on these because I know the four patches will nest if I do that. So the blue is catty cornered from each other. That's how I know that because I'm a genius. He's a hero in his own mind. Those together. My bacon back is surely aching. Surely aching. Uh oh, that would not have been right.
bucks. Killing me, Smalls. I've obviously been hunched over too long today. It took me a long time to cut all this. Last spool. Well, not last spool. The quilt block is a spool too. These are so cute. I'm so glad I changed the colors up. These are adorable. Okay, you're gonna take these and we're going to snowball with Z, the two blue corners. Side. Uh oh. What? Obviously, I did not cut enough of these. How in the heck did I manage that? And bedtime alarm just went off. It's Saturday night, I can stay up later if I want to. But you're not the boss of me. Maybe I dropped one somewhere. I see those two are done, these two are done. No, I'm missing two. I'm missing two. So I probably did short myself. Gosh, dang it. I do have more, so it's not a big deal. It's just aggravating. That's just aggravating me. Okay, damn it. Let me go cut those. Alright, I got them cut. Yo, God, I did that one horrible. Ew, brother, brother, ew. Like this one's really good. That one's good, and this one's pretty good. Ew, brother. Look, can't you see that? How horrible it is. <laughs> and I'm looking in the camera; it's like barely there. Look at it in the camera, it looks great. But in person, I'm like, oh, ew, but uh, okay. <clears throat> this guy is going to attach to a CC, CC rider. Like this. This 
guy's gonna have one too. Like this. And this with a DD. Whoops, I don't go there. I go here. That looks good. All right. She's a vegetarian. Merry moon, merry moon, merry moon. A genarian. Woof. Dun, 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 dun. Woof. She's a vegetarian. She's an intellectual. This tray is totally empty. It's a win. Pulling down the next tray. I'm going to start doing some of these corners. Um, border the frame to use as leaders and enders while I finish this section. So this is JJ is the blue and I is the snowball. Do y'all remember that song from Dumb and Dumber? I bought that soundtrack because it's a that Dumb and Dumber had an excellent soundtrack. That was one of the songs on it. Dumb and Dumber's uh, one of my favorites. I can probably quote a hundred one liners from that movie. Back when Adam Sandler used to make, not Adam Sandler, I'm getting, no, I'm getting myself confused. Um, I was starting to think about Billy Madison next and how hilarious I found that movie as well. I laughed so hard at Billy Madison in the movie theater, I embarrassed myself. I, I could not, I mean, laugh, full belly uncontrollable laughter at Billy Madison. One of my all-time favorites, too. Comedies, anyway. T -t 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 Today, Junior! That's the, Billy Madison's the one that I'm always quoting when I say R, and I go, R, are you going to the mall today? That's Billy Madison. 
when he's doing the spelling test and he's trying to spell couch and he says R and then he sees by the teacher's look it's wrong and he goes are you going to the mall today Probably my favorite Jim Carrey movie. Ace Ventura, this is my second favorite. I loved his movie though. Um, Sun Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. What's that title? Y'all know what I'm talking about. His drama where that him and Kate Winslet, whom I love as well. Man, that's a rickety block. She's cute, though. Okay, so there's mine. And here's Lori's. What do y'all think? I like mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need to put H on each side. What's happening? Oh, here it is. Whew. Whew. also has an awesome soundtrack is Pulp Fiction. I've got that one too. It's freaking amazing. Counting flowers on the wall. That don't bother me at all. Playing solitaire till dawn with a pack of fish. Smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Now don't tell me I've nothing to do. No, don't tell me I've nothing to do. Now we can put our spool top and bottom line.
this. And there is the very last spool. Freaking adorable. I love it. <laughs> okay, I think this is a good stopping point for us because we're right at about an hour. We're definitely going to finish this in two videos. So only one more to go. To recap, should I rip that? No. We got this, we have this spool, we have the needle, we have the pink spool, the blue spool, and the strappy spool. Join me in the next one when we put them all together. Snap! And the job's a game! Give me a thumbs up guys if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. I'll see you at the next one.